A reading from Exodus 31, 12 to 18. Then the Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, You must observe my Sabbath. This will be a sign between me and you for the generations to come, so you may know that I am the Lord who makes you holy. Observe the Sabbath because it is holy to you. Anyone who desecrates it is to be put to death. Those who do any work on that day must be cut off from their people. For six days work is to be done, but the seventh day is a day of Sabbath rest, holy to the Lord. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day is to be put to death. The Israelites are to observe the Sabbath, celebrating it for generations to come as a lasting covenant. It will be a sign between me and the Israelites forever. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. When the Lord finished speaking to Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave him the two tablets of the covenant law, the tablets of stone inscribed by the finger of God. These words were spoken to Moses at the end of God's instructions for building the tabernacle. Some scholars think these commands were given to remind the Jews to rest on the Sabbath instead of getting carried away and working through the Sabbath on the beloved tabernacle. The observance of the Sabbath was a covenant with God. When Jesus came into the world, the strict observance of a particular day of rest was replaced by the grace of God. In Colossians 2, 16-17, it says, Therefore do not let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink, or with regard to a religious festival, a new moon celebration, or a Sabbath day. These are a shadow of the things that are to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. Because Christ came to save us, we do not live by the old rules, but by the new covenant he made with us. Rest is still important. God does not want his people to work until they are burned out. As I was reading commentary on these verses, one scholar used the example of the moon and sun. God is the sun who is much greater than the moon, which represents us. However, if we get overwhelmed by the things we do in Jesus' name, our works can eclipse what God has done for us in our minds. We may begin to consider what we do more important than what God does. A day of rest can keep us in balance and give us time to meditate on what God does for us. We can do nothing without him, and quiet time helps us to remember that. Carla Gerke